Welcome to Rapid Weaver Classroom's coverage of the Blocks plugin from Your Head Software. We are on the Your Head Software page right now and we can see all of the plugins that they make available for Rapid Weaver. And there are a number of excellent plugins available. And Blocks is one of the most popular and one of my favorite. And you can find that here in the center of the page. And this is um, some information on the Blocks plugin. You can download it and try it for free. And if you'd like to purchase it, it's $24.95 from yourhead.com. And I highly recommend the plugin and think it's a great value. And so what we're going to look at here in Rapid Weaver is the Blocks plugin. And this is just going to be an introduction to show you and give you some examples of what you can do with the plugin. So I'm going to add the page to my project. I'm going to add a Blocks page. And here it is with this block logo icon. And I'm going to choose that page. And it is added to my project. And it is the home page right now. So we have the home logo here. But if I were to add another one, we would see that block image as the icon for the page type. And so this is the Blocks plugin. And we have a blank sheet here to begin with, just like um, the style text page would be in the in Rapid Weaver. And below at the bottom we have these different buttons that give us different options to work with. And we're going to look at all of these through the tutorials for Blocks. But just to start with, I'm going to show you basically what the purpose of Blocks is. It is um, not exactly a what you see is what you get type of page, but it's close. It's important to note that it is not what you see is what you get. But like I said, it is close, and it lets you build a page by dragging and dropping or creating blocks of elements on your page. And so if you are new to Rapid Weaver and have used iWeb in the past, then this will be a very, very familiar way of building a website, and it's something you might want to take advantage of if you're used to the way iWeb works and you're looking for that similar functionality. So what we're going to do is we're going to just build a quick page here that is just like the supplies page of Rapid Weaver Classroom. And so we'll take a look here at the supplies page and we're going to do something similar to this with the Blocks plugin. So I'm going to switch back to Rapid Weaver and here's my blank page and I've got a finder window with my files available. And to start with I want to um, just put this text here at the top, this heading and this text and then maybe add this pencil image and so we're going to do that first and the way we're going to do that in Rapid Weaver is by selecting the text icon here at the bottom and that creates a block and it's an empty block and I can drag that and put it anywhere I want on the page I can take the handles and adjust the size and so that's what I'm going to do right there and just uh, drop it somewhere around here maybe bring it up a little bit I'm going to switch over to my finder and open up some um, content here that I've copied and pasted over into a, a text document. So I'm just going to copy this text and paste it in and it comes formatted just like it was in that document. Now if you don't want this formatting to apply then um, just as a refresher you do um, go to edit and paste as plain text in order to paste it in as plain text and then be able to format it from there. But um, to start with we're just going to um, use this formatting which I'm happy with and so I've dropped that into the page here and next I want to put the image of the pencil in so I'm going to go back into my finder and I've got the image I'll show us thumbnails here and here's our image so I'm just going to drag that and drop it into the blocks page and here it is and we can see that the the width is not um, really enough to fit what I want to fit here and so I'm really going to quickly go into the block inspector and adjust the width. And we're going to look at doing this later, but I just want to show you the options real quick. So I'm going to adjust the width to 800 pixels. Uh, let's do 700 actually. So that opens up the width of my content area here so I can drag things um, and reposition them and have more width to work with. And so I will go through the block inspector later on and show you all those details. But real quickly, I just want to show you how this starts to get built. So we've got these two areas here created. What else do we need? Let's go back to Safari. We've got an image here of Rapid Weaver logo, so I will add that along with some more text. I will get my text out of the text edit document here. Close that out. And then I will go into the finder and grab my Rapid Weaver icon, which is here. So I'll drag that onto the page, drop that. I'll put it around there. And then I'll take another text block, create that, and I'm going to drag that with the anchors. 
and paste in that line of text. And so I'm starting to get a layout here. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to open up my themes panel. I'm going to select the, I'm going to do a search here for the Sprout theme. There it is. I'm going to select that theme. And I'll close my theme drawer. And I want to make a change to the width of the theme. So I'm going to go to the styles here for the, for the uh, Sprout theme and change it to medium width. I'm also going to turn the sidebar off. Oh, it already is off, so I'm good there. So those are the only adjustments I want to make to the theme. So let's go ahead and preview. And now we start to see um, uh, the layout here. Now this is actually still too narrow, so I'm going to open up my theme styles again and set the width to large. Then hopefully we will see everything we want to see. Yeah, so we have... Um, some content starting to show up here. This is an awfully wide layout, so I'll stretch that. And um, so we have things starting to drop into place. And I can adjust and move things around here. And maybe I want to add a bit more content. So I've got some images here below. So let me just throw in some things real quickly. Go back to Rapid Weaver first. Get into my Finder. And I'm just going to grab some images and drop them in. I'll show you how we can line these up. Um, let me take this guy. Let me just drop them in first, and then I'll go back and arrange them the way I want to arrange them. That'll work. So I'll just grab these images and drag them. And you can see that lines appear, and this gives you some um, orientation for how to line up images vertically and horizontally. So that's a nice feature. Um, to be able to give you the ability to position things easily. And I can grab a bunch of blocks at once and drag them around. So let's preview that. So here we are. This is just a real basic content layout, but um, it's starting to, to kind of get the page put together. And ultimately, just what I want to show you is, is just the functionality of the plugin how we are creating um, blocks. These are all separate blocks as I select them. We see the handles um, available around the block in kind of a dotted line. And um, I can grab and drag that around and place it dynamically anywhere on the page. And Rapid Weaver will um, we'll put this all together in preview mode for you to check out. And so these are all individual blocks. We have blocks of text, image blocks that we've dropped in. And there are a lot, uh, several other different kinds of blocks that we'll look at in more detail in later tutorials. But I wanted to show you um, basically the functionality of the plugin, what, what it makes available. It's much easier to achieve layout, um, for example, with these images that are horizontally aligned. We looked at doing that um, in a previous tutorial for the styled text when building a site, and we had to manually enter a bunch of non-breaking spaces in, in HTML between those images in order to get them to spread out and to line up. Well, in the case of blocks, we don't have to do any of that coding. All we're doing is simply dragging and dropping the images into the page and then positioning where, them wherever we want. And so that is a real powerful function of the Blocks plugin. And there's a lot more than that to it, so we will look at um, each detail of the plugin uh, one by one as we go through the rest of the tutorials for Blocks.